thing about like Wario though is that yeah, obviously Belmont is going to be about those uh, projectiles, and we're going to end up getting uh, we're going to end up seeing like Wario being able to slide around uh, most of the time with this aerial drifting. Mm -hmm. If he does manage to get in, that means he's going to get quite a bit of damage as well. So mm -hmm. that's what it's all about. Uh, great stuff right yeah. here, of course. The falling upper, trying to catch Wario in like uh, that short hop animation. That's where a lot of the greatness that is Wario starts. You see that kind of starting up here from Sweet. Falling up air course, you know, just cross up Nair. Um, not exactly sure what the Belmont's quickest option out of Shims, but they do have Nair, and of course they have up B depending on which way they're facing. So that, of course, will make Sweet think twice. All right, Sweet. Just trying to find his way in. Like, this is kind of exactly the, I mean, look, I play enough uh, Hazmat to know this is basically exactly how the matches go, man. Mm -hmm. When can I get in, and when I do get in, what can I do with it? Uh, but Tweak has not been able to get in for long. As, like, look, he's got 34% and, and continues to get uh, anti-air out of there all this time. So, ooh. yeah, he's kind of trying to figure out a way to break that zone. End up close to first, though. There's the short hop. And I like that F tilt as well, too. Just a good way to just kind of check the temperature and you know, make sure that he's alive in the match right here. There's the up tilt. Oh, my God. Ooh. Okay, wait a minute. He's back in. He's back into the game right now. I mean, like, hasn't got the waft on deck yet. But if you wanted to go for half waft, he does. Mm. Uh, he's actually very close to full waft now. Looking at the time. So yeah, this is. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. To make his way out. And yeah, this is not looking. Uh, this isn't looking amazing for for Tweak yet. But also, it doesn't look like he's out of it by any means. The amount of rage that he has. You know, with the with the waft, maybe a back air off stage it should be it. Oh, uh oh, wait, I was not expecting that. Okay, okay. I'm, that man had to be holding out. That's right, bro. It, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't get more patented wild than that. I mean, it's a big shoulder to get the job done. And I was actually talking about that, man. I was like, I wonder when we're gonna try to get the Belmont off stage. I know, of course, in if you're playing the Belmont, you know that's your main objective is to keep your feet grounded, you know, stay planted, do not get off stage as much as possible. And of course, Sweet was able to kind of turn into just that, but the answer back on the axe right there to silence the audience. This is gonna be a scary one, bro. Yeah, that's actually that was actually a pretty cool option to pick too. I mean, normally you know you see that that stomp go, they look for an up air or a up B. But I think he knew that uh, air dock was coming. Ooh. Oh, goes the other way, but that's still damage. Still damage, 90 uh, 90 percent, just like that. But yeah, it's like going the other way or knowing that uh, the air dock caught that with the axe. A very very strong projectile, so smart usage of it. But now Tweak kind of running away with the second stock. Oh. Yeah, Tweak is very comfortable right now. Just kind of baiting out a lot of these panic escape options. Again, you know, Nair out of shield, I believe, is one of Belmont's quicker, uh, you know, options up close to first throw to fight Wario. And just kind of running up, holding shield, letting him go for Nair first, answering back with the Nair. But that's how you handle the Belmont. Okay, oh, he said, no, this is my bike. Bro. Okay. Oh, Tweak trying to run in there, get the, get the reverse back here going, but take a little bit off the spacing. Using that bike as his own projectile, getting uh, you know, the tire as well. Little, little bite, little, little heal. Right. Oh my goodness. You ain't healing from that though, man. Great back air. Right there in the corner of the stage, too. And it just really feels like that's kind of how Tweak has been conditioning Liam for the majority of this match. Like, you know, even if you ain't off stage, you win this corner, this is just not where you want to be. I've been right. baiting out your nares. You don't really got an escape option, man, when I got you kind of pinned down. What you going to do? Oh my God. Oh, Liam. Actually, you know, that should have been stock right there. You got the fire. You got the. Look at the Holy Grail of setups right there, basically, of uh, hitting the Holy Water like that. That was a quick F smash, but decided to go for the down smash. He said to Tweak a little too high up on that, not allow him to get that hit. So now, look at all the damage he's taking while Tweak is on pretty much ball time on the stock. Mm -hmm. Definitely getting his money's worth and then some. There's the high near, of course, out of a jump. Very smart. Of course, got to go for the tug on the recovery, man. This is just not a good spot to be in. Is he going to go? Okay, I thought he was actually going to pull the trigger on the up B. Decided to actually play safe, man. With that up B, so now you free fall and Wario is certainly looking for that. My boy is oh, okay. I'm just have to put the foot on him real quick, but yeah, this is looking a little bad here for Liam. Tweak's uh Tweak has been in the uh, driver's seat for a while, and I think you know, as the Belmont, you usually want to be in the driver's seat so you can play your game even more effectively. Mm -hmm. and now he has to kind of approach it. Tweak decided, there we go. Catches him yet again coming off the ledge into the F tilt this time. Doesn't even need the full F smash. Okay. It's definitely the turnaround we certainly need right here. You got a little bit of rage, but you're not going to be able to do too much with it. Yeah, wait a minute. He was up in the magnifying glass for a minute. Yeah, I thought he I thought he was for sure making it back for as long as he was flying, but no, apparently not, man. He was flying, you know, just just a low altitude flight apparently. Mm. So, you know, low speed flight, but he is going to go past that blast zone. So, that's going to be Tweak's first game. Did look a little rough for him for a second at that uh, beginning, but he was able to close that one out near the end uh, pretty handily. Mm -hmm. So. I forgot, man. I, I'm forgetting to check that uh, the, the shop. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I got on this on this James Bond shop. You know? I think they got the same hoodie from last year, the the pink one, which I think is really nice. And it had like some um, almost like some uh, some game card, you know what I'm saying? Deck of card T-shirt. So, yeah, man. Poor priority, of course, keeping it stylish off the sticks, tweaking them, keeping it stylish on the sticks. Great start right here to game number one. Of course, it takes a certain type of uh, mental fortitude to go against a Belmont of this stature. I mean, they're all pretty difficult to deal with, but I think when there's one like this, you know, who you know, has the setups in mind. You know, maybe a little slow on the draw with the execution, but that's what game two is for. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're definitely on high alert. Now, three, the question is, is this best of three one, or best of five? Go, oh, this is best of three. So you don't got a lot okay. of time for uh, for adaptation right here. You got to figure it out fast. Tweak, of course, pretty convincing game number one. That first stock kind of close. Got to keep it a stack. Yeah, no, I mean, like, I, I definitely have to give it up to, to Liam for putting up a good fight there. But, yeah, Tweak was able to uh, kind of figure out what he needed to do there. And then, like, yeah, I think I think the WAF combo to the 90% was really where, like, all right, man, like, Tweak is back in, mm -hmm. in, in, in true form. You're going to have to really play some uh, games to get past him. But, yeah, Tweak is tweaking at that point, bro. Yeah. You letting Wario press buttons on you, you're in trouble. Oh, great. Okay. Really cross up back to red the roll in the opposite direction. And that's another thing I really like that Tweak does. So sometimes we'll just run right up and force them there out of shield. Again, one of Belmont's best options just to, you know, get people off of him. But what he'll do is sometimes he'll just use his presence. He'll just kind of jump in front of you and float. Wait for you to roll. The minute you roll, boom, turn around back here. So right. has the options on the right and just really breaking that zone. I got to just call it for what it is. This is just not a space right here where you need a character like Wario at. Got to figure out a way. Keep those feet on the ground. And, of course, keep Wario at base. Standing F tilt. Pretty good, F, uh, pretty good anti armor set for it. A pretty good um, anti air. So I'd like to see a little bit more of that. Yeah, but I, I think, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, that was, I was, I forgot who I saw doing that first. But yeah, oh no, it was, it was Dom. Yeah, use Dom. Yeah, holy water uh, as like a like a planking tool. You know, so that way you can can re the legs. This time, tweak rolling on pretty quickly, and that is a normal setup that you'll see the Belmonts go for. But oh. That's got to be it, right? Oh, wait a damn minute. Oh, okay. I like okay. the idea, though. Like, yeah. He's like, I might take you with me. Yeah. I'm sure he was swinging for that for the ledge, but still got the the connection on Tweak. And, uh, yeah, the, the cross actually going to break up that combo with Liam. Must have thought Tweak was still going to jump up there and went for that up. Uh, oh, jeez. Hey, it's not. Yeah, this second game is looking way rougher for him this time around. Yeah. Tweak is definitely his bag right here. I mean, maybe took a little bit, you know, to warm up. Maybe just wanted to get a little bit of data again, you know, no matter what type of Belmont player you're going up against. I mean, you got to show them a lot of respect in the neutral, but once you get them off stage, you can do literally whatever you want to them. Clean stuff with the Nair. Liam right now forcing on his winner side stock. Tweak is certainly feeling himself here. Just not allowing Liam to jump at all. Nice. Up B. That's going to be a stock. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I mean, he's going to be able to get something on the board at the very least. But, yeah, nah, look at that. Tweet coming back with a vengeance immediately. Okay. Can't waste a little bit of no time at all. Nice. Mixing them up right there on the slide. It doesn't go for the second hit. You see a lot of the Belmonts and, of course, like the Bay will do that as well. Try to mix them up a little bit on one of their more, like, explosive approach options. Yeah, yeah. Short hop back here again. Off stage. This is just not good. That time having to go for jump. He's getting a lot of his rolls, and Neutral get him right off the list. So that time went for jump, but, you know, of course, Tweak just always with the option on the ready. And, of course, if you go for jump, that's kind of what Wario wants you because he doesn't mind spending a lot of time in the air. That's my bike, bro. That's my bike, bro. I'm Jody from Baby Boy. You out of here, man. Big shoulder. It's over. Yeah, Tweak not wasting no time right there. Yeah, first stock, as I said, you know, Liam was definitely looking good in that first stock, but after that, it was it was the Tweak show. Yeah. My boy said, yeah, I, th I think I figured it out now. One second. Let me. Let me just show you how I know this matchup. So mm -hmm. I'm sure that if he he was never going to be able to lose that matchup anyway. Has would have tweeted at him, called him, did.